Okay, don't be afraid. Everything's okay. Don't be afraid. And this is, we're, we're not watching the movie The Birds now. But as you saw on the title, it was Birdemic. And that is a film that is still in production. This is just a little teaser for the new movie Birdemic, which is still in the works, being shot by this director here. Yes. Welcome. Thanks. I'm glad you're here, Bonnie. Movie close-up, Bonnie Steiger, okay? And also, if you want to talk to uh, James, ask him any questions about um, the number of films he has already made, he has in production, he has in pre-production, you can give us a call, because it's a live show. You know it's a live show. 621-4472. Be polite. You don't know this man. Be nice. Okay. Now, that film looked a little reminiscent of another film. <laughs> yes. Was that intentional? Uh, yeah, yes, in a way. I mean, it's, uh, it's a little homage to uh, 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 Mr. Alfred Hitchcock, The Birds. Right. Uh, but it's, it's, mo it's contemporary. It's modern, and it's, it's original in its own way. Uh huh. Uh, I mean, what you see there is a small town, very beautiful city, Hot Moon Bay. Right. And suddenly one day, one morning, a flock of uh, hawks and falcons and eagles and vulture, and they just descend down and start attacking. Now this time it's not seagulls and blackbirds, it's, yeah. the, it's the birds of prey. Yes. Which makes it even more dangerous. Yes. <laughs> yes, much, much more gruesome and, and shocking and terrifying. And yet, if we look on your web website yes. and read about you at movieheadpictures.com, movieheadpictures.com, yes. to fill you in on all the stuff James is doing, that's a good place to look, and we'll, we'll refer you back to that from time to time. Um, you call yourself a romantic thriller filmmaker. Yes. We uh, just didn't see the romantic in this clip. It's a birdemic is a romantic thriller. I mean, uh -huh. The first 30 minutes is very romantic, yeah, but there's a lot of foreshadowing right. and uh, what yet to come. We're very foreboding. Right. And uh, I just like the ro romantic thrillers. Uh, uh, I, even when I was a kid, I, I liked the romantic films. You know, I think my first romantic film I really liked was uh, Somewhere in Time with Christopher Reeve yes. and Jane Seymour. A little ghostly, yes. too. Yes, yes. But even better, I like also, if you add out the mystery, the suspense, and the thrill, right. it makes it even a better a romance movie. It's not just a chick flick, you know what I mean, but, uh, but a, a You want to bring the boys into a yeah. little gore. Yes. A little yes. blood. Yeah. And um, it's reflected in your previous movies, too. You've already finished two other films. Yes. And um, besides there being romantic thrillers, there is the Hitchcockian kind of sense to them. Yes. yes. I mean, uh, uh, everything I learned about how to make a movie mm -hmm. uh, is watching Hitchcock cinema. Uh -huh. I mean, from pure cinema. Right. And what you saw in the Birdemic trailer there is uh, an example of pure cinema. Uh, right. Meaning, you notice the, the when you watch the trailer, when you visit web, uh, and watch the, the Birdemic trailer, you see them, the, the scene opens very quietly. You know, usually yes. a trailer, a movie trailer, you see the sound and the voiceover here. It's so quiet. Yes. Like the camera's panning, you know, like a, to a small town, beautiful town by the sea, Half Moon Bay. And it fades to black and boom, it opens where just a platoon of hawks and falcon attack. Now, because this clip has been, well, this preview, trailer, yes. uh, teaser has been seen, you were contacted by the Humane Society, were you not? Yes, I was. I mean, I was shocked by that, uh -huh. uh, you know, and uh, the, Huma the uh, American uh, Humane uh, Association contacted me and asked me, after they watched the trailer, and they said, uh, they asked, uh, were there any birds who were being used in the production? Right. And were there uh, any of these hawks and falcons and vulture, were they harmed in any harmless way? And I, I told them, mm. uh, you know, even those, they, these dark birds, they look pretty real, but uh, they were all digital character. They right. were all, you know, they were all generated, uh, created in the computer. But probably the Humane Society thought, well, just in case anywhere in the film he uses real birds, let's check. Yeah. But that's almost a, a compliment to your filmmaking skill to even ask you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, the released, uh, complete uh, product, a film by the end of the year, 
uh, we, we upscale our, our visual effects. You know, I, I hire animators, uh, some of them from the Academy of Arts here in San Francisco. Right, you know, right. they're, they're, they just graduate and they need a job, so I help them out. And but they're very talented and they create this very real look. In three three G birds, and they know the latest technology because they just graduated yes. too. Yes, that is great. So, so what we saw here will even be upgraded further to look even more realistic when the film is done. Yes. Now, when is this film going to be done? Uh, before the end of the year, we're in production right now. Okay. And, uh, mo shortly on location, most in Hapung Bay. Right. And, and a lot of it's in San Jose, in front of a green screen, a studio green screen, and so. Right. Uh, and some of it in San Francisco here too. So this is this is like a a production comparable to something that would be done in Hollywood. No, I I wouldn't say that. Okay. We're, we're small independent yeah. uh, uh, production. Right. But we we try to make the best f a film uh, possible. You know, it's all digital cinema. Right. Uh, shot high definition, 24p, 24 frame per second. That's the way film moves. Yeah. You know? Right. And so uh, we in. Uh, you know, there's no way I can compete against a hundred dollar million budget. Uh, as you know that uh, Universal Pictures co uh, coming out in 2009 with The Bird, the remake of The Bird. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, they are. You know, and it's uh, rumored. Oh, well, that that's a little competition. Yes, isn't yeah, it? and so that I, you know, I, I'm uh, my production movie head picture is a small independent film based in San Francisco. Using local talent. The local too. talent, yes, and so there's no way my budget can compete against uh, the, you know that. But right. We try to make the best film as, as possible and focus on the story. And also... To focus on the storyline, you know. Right, the, that's always important. But also release it before the Hollywood yes, arts is that's, released. I'm in the race against them right now. Yes. Right now, yes. <laughs> and, and so what, what, what the pandemic is, has is a great storyline. There's two questions, okay? Yeah. Why did the dark birds attack? Why this this hawks and falcons and eagles? Why, why suddenly they just begin to attack? This right. small, beautiful town, Hat Moon Bay. And second is why uh, will, will the two protagonists... Uh, will they live or die? We always want to know yes, that. Yes, okay, so those, those are the two... We have failed if we don't care what happens to the protagonists. Yeah. We must <laughs> love and care about the protagonists. Yeah. Rule oh, number oh. one. I, I would like to... Um, all right, so we'll wait and see for when Birdemma comes out. You let yes. me know. And when it's finished, you know, we're submitting to the film festival. You know, we're trying to, uh, to uh, uh, shoot for 2009 Sundance and the right. top 10 film festivals, Slam Dance and all the other ones. Con? Yeah, yeah, like that too. What the hey? Yes, and this is my, my third film, so I'm very careful and try to make as, uh, you, uh, the best film as possible. Right. You get better as you go. Right. And for now, it's the third film. It's, it's the most challenging movie I ever made. Because but we're not ashamed of the first. <laughs> Let us talk a little bit about Jules and Julie and Jack. Tell me about Julie and Jack, and then we'll go see a clip from it. Yes. Well, Julie and Jack is a, it's a romantic thr thriller. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it's a love story. It's about this guy uh, named. Uh, uh, it's about it's about it's a computer sales guy na named Jack, mm -hmm. and uh, he's looking for uh, love. So he goes online to, on the internet to a, a dating website called uh, CupidMatchmaker.net, and he meets this lady uh, named by the name of Julie. And so they correspond by email, internet, online, and so on. And after several m months, uh, he falls in love with her. And he wants to meet her in real life. But how does he meet her? Because it took a while for us to figure out what was going on. Should we discuss it or should we leave it as a surprise? Leave it as a surprise, okay. you know. Right. Uh, but he, w he wants to meet her, and, but she doesn't want to meet him. She resists. She resists, okay. And, and so We uh, have to find out why. To, yeah, find out why, yes. And well, we got a trailer for this. Sure, great. All right, so uh, here is our very professionally done trailer for Julie and Jack, and uh, we will discuss more.
love you like that. And what? Now you don't love me anymore? See, I'm, I'm playing with his discs, because the man's got discs. Um, there's a website for this uh, movie. Yes, uh, it's uh, julianjack.com. And it's a whole A-N-D and, not an ever and and. julianjack.com. Yes. And I think we even, in this um, trailer, I think we even caught a glimpse of Tippi Hedren in there, didn't we? Yes. I mean, Miss uh, Tippi Hedren did a cameo in Julian Jack. How'd you get Tippi Hedren to play the mother? How'd you do that? Uh, t I think a, a decent script, uh -huh. and uh, t uh, she liked the storyline. She liked the romantic movies, okay. And uh, so I, I've asked her, and with a little cash, uh, she got ex you know combined, uh, and uh, she agreed to do the uh, the film. Very nice. Yes. And she added such a touch of class to that thing. Yes, she really did. Yes. So, where does the story come from from this? You you also write. Yes. And you shot this one as well. Yes. But you don't edit. Uh, I have an editor, yes. Right. A, a repertory company and you're using them, like Woody Allen always uses the same editor, the same producers, the same. Are yes. you getting your little, your little production company together so all those people are ready for film after film after, after film? Uh, it's, it's hard to do that when you're uh, small and independent. Uh -huh. So at uh, a, a time when you need to hire the crew, Who's who's available and qualified? Right. That's that's the thing uh, because people mo they're busy they move on and it's hard sometimes to retain the same person. Sure, sure. Uh, I mean, I would love to always have the same actress, you know, like Jen Jen Gutson in the, in Julian Jack in my first film. And you didn't get her for the next one, which we'll see a clip of later. Yes. Right. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, even Hitchcock used different blondes. Yes. <laughs> the, to me, it's it's. Who's qualified? Who's, yeah. who's talent? Perhaps beautiful talent and qualified. Right. Uh, and that's the most important thing. And, 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 and can I work with this actress? Yeah, there's I always mean, that. Making a movie, especially an independent, low budget film, uh, two to three months, uh, sometimes weekdays, but a lot of times uh, sh weekend filming, uh, the relationship's got to be there. Right. The trust uh, to, to move week to week, uh, yeah. or the whole thing will not work. So it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's about relationship. Okay, and that all makes sense to me. And for the guys, too, not just the woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, where can people see this film if they're interested in seeing it? Uh, Julian Jack uh, was released uh, a few years back, mm -hmm. and uh, they can uh, go to Netflix ah. and rent it. Uh, uh, Netflix uh, is there. Right. So you got to go watch it and then call us back and tell us how much you loved it, too. You can't buy... Um, the movie's on your website, though. Yes. You know, I, I don't sell it directly. But okay. okay. But just one thing about Julian Jack, I mean, yeah. to continue from that trailer, uh, yeah. is the, after he, he goes on a journey in finding, wanting to find who Ju, uh, Julie is. Because she wouldn't meet him. Yeah, she wouldn't meet him, right? right. He went on this journey, the whole, yeah, and, and when he, fi he finally finds who she is, uh, Jack is put to the ultimate test, uh, really a love test. Mm -hmm. I mean, and... and and his, his his love for her. I mean, he, he sees this uh, la a ga lady online, it's, uh, and emails and pictures of her, and he, he's in love with her. But when he uh, he finally know what she is, uh, he's put he's put to the ultimate test, and and we'll, we'll, we'll still love her after he know what she really is. So that's that's the magic of this whole movie, Julian Jack. You are such a romantic. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I just love the rom romantic movies. Yeah. Now, yeah. as time goes by. Are you going to be tempted to move to L.A.? Yes, I mean, I, I will. I, I do go down there uh, sometimes for casting. 
Uh-huh. Uh, well, you did for Tippy. Yes, and I do um, uh, go down there. I have some connection down there and right. uh, like that. Uh, but eventually, yes, you, you have to go down to Hollywood. Uh, that's where all the action is. But you can still shoot up here. Yes. Right. So it you're still going to be loyal to the Bay Area as yes. um, the place to bring the business. Yes. And, and the thing that be, uh, is, is that is that San Francisco Bay Area is, is just, a th I think to me, just has great, great location. It's yeah. the most beautiful place in, in the United States, from yes. San Francisco, Half Moon Bay, down to Santa Cruz. High. It's just so beautiful. Why, why, why would you want to go down there? Because if I go down there, I have it's to go ugly. back up here. Right. It, it, you have to go back up here and shoot. So it's, uh, but, but you have to be in both places. You take the meetings. Yes. You just take the meetings. And now we're moving on to your next film. This is like, <laughs> this is your life, James yes. Wynn. Oh, and in case you do have any questions, let me tell you one more time. The film num phone number again here is 6214472. I said that right? I did. So um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if there's something that, because uh, you're becoming a very successful filmmaker here. Uh, You're I, pumping out feature films. Yes, I'm. Uh, I just love the movies. Yeah. I want to spend my life making movies. Yeah. And it'd be nice if uh, 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 you have uh, backers, a Hollywood studio, to back you, so you don't have to fund it yourself. Uh, but but uh, but it's fun. It's fun making. The, yeah. I, like, I love the whole process of, of you know, from the writing the script. Yeah. Storyboarding. Uh, casting and shooting and and also the digital cinematography. Uh, I it looks I will good. Only, yes, I I will only shoot uh, uh, shoot on digital. Right. High definition, twenty four p, and I I have all the latest gear, the, the equipment. Right. And uh, the, and and when and the movie gets distribution, then it, it gets transferred to uh, film. Right. That's the last you know expensive. Uh, yes. Once you've already got the distribution all yes. set up. They can have their copy on yes, celluloid. Yes, and the, the distributor will pay for that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And then send you checks for all the profits. Yes, yes. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Replica, the next film you made. Yes. Tell me about Replica. This Replica was my uh, uh, second film, and it's, it's, it's really simply a story about the good and bad of technology, the, the, the a dilemma. It is kind of controversial. Yes. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's about this guy named Joe. He's a chip, computer chips uh, salesman in the Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. He's got a kidney failure, and he gets a new kidney, uh, but not your traditional of kind of like the donor Donated. organ do right, um, yeah. uh, the organ do donation and all that. It's done through technology cloning. Uh, and they so built him a gene. Yeah, yeah I so mean they built him a, a kidney. A kidney, yeah. So they took his, uh, uh, have a stem cell or gene. I mean not stem, but they his, uh, one of his cell and regenerate to replace his his uh, give him a new kidney. So he, they didn't touch anybody's embryos. Yes. And so, yes. uh, so it's the technologies are here. Well, a few weeks ago, I think two weeks in the news that they were creating a new heart, uh, artificial heart through one single cell. It's in the news. Wow. So the technology is here right. already. That's coming. Uh, uh, but the, and so when Joe he's he's healthy, he's got a new kidney, and he, and and the the whole procedure is done by this beautiful uh, uh, biogenesis, Dr. Tyler Evelyn Tyler, uh, and he falls in love with her. And uh, and so they go on a romance, and but bad things happen. You know, I don't yeah. want to get the story no, away. Can't tell away but perhaps the, uh, the, tr uh, the this little clip. Oh, that's is, right. Yeah. Let us look at a clip from Replica, and we'll be right back to continue our investigation of the filmmaking career of James Wynn. Princess Grace died in one, too. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up that tragedy. It's okay. 
We have to go on. What's wrong? Can you make your hair up to look like Evelyn? No. I'm not gonna do that. Look at me. I'm Claudia. Evelyn's dead and gone. I'm here and alive. Isn't that what matters? You're right. I'm sorry. It's, it's just... Romantic. Yeah. Well, wasn't that? Wasn't that just? So, just in case it was a little confusing for the viewers, when he says to her, as they're looking over um, the bay at uh, the Balcuthra, yeah. he says to her, would you dye your hair blonde like the other woman? Yes, Evelyn. Dr. What is he talking about there? Dr. Evelyn, Tyler, well, maybe we'll give away a little the movie. A uh, little bit. Just a little, you know, she, she got into a car accident and died. Okay, and uh, and so uh, the uh, the brunette Claudia uh, kind of resemble uh, Evelyn. Okay, and so he uh, kind of like Kim Novak looks like Kim Novak. Uh, well, maybe I mean, uh, <laughs> but uh, and so he, you know, in a sense, he he wants to remake her, remake yeah. her to look like Doctor uh, Doctor Evelyn Tyler. So this is definitely influenced to some degree by Vertigo. Yes, to, uh, to me. Uh, uh, Vertigo is uh, Mr. Alfred uh, Hitchcock's greatest film. To me, it's also the greatest film ever made in San Francisco. Oh, it is the, yeah. the absolute San Francisco film. Yes. It is, yeah. It's, uh, replica pays a little homage to uh, Verti uh, Vertigo. Right. But it's unique in a sense that, that, that uh, just like Birdemic, it's contemporary. Yes. And it, 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 it deals with the issue of, um, of the good, uh, the potential good and evil of technology, biotechnology. I it mean, almost turns a little Frankensteinish there for a bit. Yes, yes. There's a there's surprising turn of events that go on later on. Yeah, and uh, and uh, you know, South San Francisco is the capital of, uh, of biotechnology, Genetech, right. and all that. Uh, right. And so, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's 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 something we live with. Yes. And you know, the re stem cell research. Foundation or the main headquarters is going to be like across the street from uh, the baseball park. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. they they're selling right here. So it's uh, the so replica really uh, put up really a uh, very uh, di di a dilemma really question about yeah if we have all this technology like the, the capability of replacing your organ you, know, right. you, you get a heart uh, failure you get a new heart kidney failure you get a new uh, Kidney. They start off by saying, but you're not allowed to replicate whole people. Yeah, right? yeah. So, they, so right. they, it, it brings up issue, you know. So, so what's, what's going to happen? Where, how far can you go? And how do you control scientists because they can, won't they? Yeah, especially mad scientists. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, yeah. They're yeah. in every movie, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to remind everybody to keep track of you by going to movieheadpictures.com because you're pumping them out. And pretty soon, uh, they can already uh, rent from Netflix if yes. they want to see Julie and Jack. And soon you'll be done with Replica. So, uh, replica is, uh, it was done a long time ago, ah. but it was never re released. Uh, but we are uh, re-editing it right now. It's like a reduct to make it better. Right. And uh, it will be released uh, sometime late next month. And you'll let me know. Yes, I will. So that I can pass the word on. Yes, and you po I probably will make it online so you can buy it at the replicamovie.com website or movie head picture. Just click on and it. And you'll have a link too. Yes. From one to the other. We're going here. Now we're chugging. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's chugging the map. Yeah. And good night for Movie Closer. Thank you so yeah. much, James, for coming.